This is going to be an extremely quick description of some things that we'll talk about potentially later, which are ways that you can prove things in mathematics. There are two of the most common, and they sound very pretentious, modus ponens and modus tollens, which are often called deduction and proof by contrapositive. So the first one is if someone walks up to you and just says, I know with absolute certainty P implies Q is true. Also with absolute certainty, I know that P is true. What can you tell me? So with the idea of an implication, that's an if then. Whenever the first thing is true, the second thing is true. Somebody says, I know that if my name is Nick, then I teach at OSU. And then he walks up and goes, hi, my name is Nick. What can you conclude? Well, you can conclude he works at OSU. He told you this if this, then this, then told you that the hypothesis was true. You can obviously draw the conclusion. That is what modus ponens is. It's a very direct statement. Modus tollens is using the contrapositive nature to make a very similar claim. If my name is Nick, then I live in Columbus. Someone walks up and says, hey, he doesn't live in Columbus. Then you can conclude his name is not Nick by the nature of contrapositive. This is the exact same thing. There's this intermediary step where you can go, ah, I know with certainty that not Q implies not P. That is, again, just the definition of contrapositive. That is, and we showed what we a truth table that those things were logically equivalent. These two means of proof, and then the idea of proof by contradiction, which is in some circles considered controversial. There's some people called purists in mathematics that really don't like proof by contradiction. We may briefly discuss that at some point. But these two methods are effectively the foundation of all mathematics, doing this a whole bunch. And the idea of mathematics is starting from as few assumptions as possible, then applying these rules as much as you can to see where you can go. That is the foundation of mathematics. Those are called, there's things called axioms, which are things that we assume are true. And those things are the, essentially the basis of all mathematics. We'll at some point in the class talk about them because they're kind of fun to show the sort of daunting nature that are the axioms that make up mathematics. For now, we're just going to say, yeah, these are the ways you can prove things. And we may touch a little bit back on this later.